Questions and comments. Uh, questions and commentaires. Uh, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Uh, I thank my honourable colleague uh, for his speech. He is a good talker, much like his leader. He talks about hope, Madam Speaker. But ten years ago, his province of New Brunswick had an unemployment rate of 10 per cent. It's not hope. It's hopelessness in New Brunswick under this Conservative party under a Conservative government. In my hometown of Windsor, we had an unemployment rate of 11.2 per cent. Wow. He talks about hope. It was a period of hopelessness under that Conservative government 10 years ago. Right now, we've cut the unemployment rate in half in New Brunswick. And in my hometown, we've got a battery plant being built on the corner of East Hero and Banwell that will provide good jobs for 2,500 Canadians in my community. That's hope. So I ask my honourable colleague, when he talks about hope, can he explain the hopelessness, the unemployment, and the lack of jobs in his province and my hometown when Conservatives were in power? Honourable Member for Tobik Mactaquan. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm glad to rise and answer that question. It's quite something for the current federal Liberal government to take credit for the hard sacrifices and tough choices that provincial governments are making right now to make ends meet, like in my home province, where Premier Higgs is making the sacrifices and the necessary decisions to balance the budget and get us in a place where we can actually turn the corner and move towards investing in things like health care and in better infrastructure. It would never happen if we didn't have a fiscally responsible provincial government making the tough choices to position us to prosper. That's what we need at the federal level, not just the provincial level.